Hello and welcome to another Travel Risk Management Health Safety and Security Advisory Tip. My name is Tony Ridley, Editor-in-Chief at TravelRiskManagementSolutions.com. Hotels play a significant role and function within the overall travel itinerary. More often than not, unless individuals, and even if individuals are staying at a company-provided hostels, accommodation, or some sort of guest facility, um, hotels invariably feature for many and all. Hotels, first and foremost, you cannot discharge your responsibility for health, safety, and security to a hotel. That means that once the individual is checked in, you simply can't wash your hands and say, well, they're the responsibility of the hotels. Many hotels don't have security managers. Many hotels don't have country or regional security directors or advisors. And therefore, the application and comprehension of health, safety and security um, can be left to the interpretation of the individual management or hotel chain. So first and foremost, you need to remember that. Upon arrival, the types of things that you should be looking for, or even questions, is asking where the emergency assembly area is, um, identifying the uh, fire safety practices. Is it a smoking or a non-smoking hotel? Um, where are the entrances? You know, where is um, you know the nearest um, uh, safe area in the event of an incident, whether it be a hotel fire or power outage, and all these sorts of things, including um, the very basics of. Um, in the event of um, natural disasters or floods and storms and so on, will the ho- does the hotel have a food facility, food and water? Um, you know, these sorts of things need to be considered both in the pre-selection of accommodation, the acceptance of accommodation for the travellers themselves, and even on a, upon a ri- arrival um, and their stay, they should be considering all of these factors. Again, it's not a particularly onerous process. It's just about providing information and guidance to the travellers themselves, some of the cascading elements or concerns of the organisation as they relate to travel. Um, And it should not just be limited to what is their budget or expense allocation of how many dollars per night they're entitled to. Does it include um, internet? Does it include breakfast? Just on that subject, actually, you know, the provision of internet for business travellers, um, again, it's maybe inclusive in some packages and some hotels, it may be an additional cost. Um, not having a mode and means of transport can be a compounding problem further exacerbated at hotels. For example, if someone arrives in a country and determines that the global roaming fees or international roaming fees are excessive, therefore they turn off their company phone, they may or may not yet have a local phone, so therefore they've lost a, a point of connectivity. They now go to a hotel where the internet is not included or it's too expensive or they don't want to use it or whatever the case may be, that individual could be essentially entirely uncontactable with the exception of their meetings or the office and so on. So again, that is a foreseeable risk. It is certainly a preventable and avoidable hazard and should be considered as such. Now, hotels themselves, um, whilst I mentioned before in terms of the uh, key appointments, um, they do offer a significant resource. So once again, travellers should be encouraged or informed and and advised on how to best utilise hotels. Whilst the information may not be 100% accurate, it can certainly be helpful and and help with the decision or the change management process. So by all means, utilise the resources at the hotel if they do in fact communicate or understand um, your language, which again can be another compounding factor. So if you can imagine how that would then work in an emergency, if they can't understand a simple question in terms of food, accommodation and directions, you can only imagine how that would then apply during an emergency situation such as a fire or or a violent attack or something along those lines. So once again, hotels form a considerable component of all travel, whether it be domestic or international. Therefore, it should feature predominantly in the company's consideration as well as the individual's use of such resources. So once again, thanks very much for joining us for another Travel Risk Management Health Safety and Security Advisory Tip. For more information and videos on this subject, please visit the website at www.travelriskmanagementsolutions.com. Thanks, that's all for now. Bye.